Good evening, everyone. On tonight's episode of Church Nerds, we remember children's moments from a few weeks ago, and we learn more about what it means to grow in our faith as we grow up in God's family. So tonight's episode is children's moments for the young and the young at heart. You'll recall that we gathered around the baptismal font and we played with the water, making the sign of the cross on our foreheads. When we do this, we remember our baptism. Baptism is a promise that God makes to us, adopting us as God's beloved children. When we're baptized, God says to us, I love you and I will never stop loving you. You are my child. But part of being a child of God is growing in our faith. So our parents, sponsors, and ourselves when we're old enough uh, make some promises to God. We promise that we'll be in community with one another through thick and through thin, sharing in our sadnesses and doubling our joys together. We also promise that to grow in our faith, we'll worship together. We'll hear the word of God through Bible readings, the sermon, um, our songs that we sing together, and our prayers. We'll also celebrate Holy Communion together, eating bread and drinking wine or grape juice together as a community. Our third promise that we're talking about today is that we will proclaim the good news of God and Christ through word and deed. Well, what does that mean? That means that we will live our lives, um, that how we, that means that how we live our lives matters. What we say and what we do matters. We promise here that we're going to tell people our stories about our lives with Jesus and that in the words that we use and the way that we speak and the things that we do and all of that we will show other people how much God loves them. That's a pretty tall order. It's really hard. I know that I have trouble remembering to tell people about God's love for me and for them. I especially have trouble showing people God's love when I am tired or when I'm hungry or when I'm cranky. I'm sure it's not always easy for you either. That's why in baptism, God gives us God's Holy Spirit so that we can live lives that show God's love to a hurting world. We need that right now. We really do. We all need a little patience, a little gentleness, some kind words, and some love. Thanks be to God that God gives us strength to do those things even when we don't feel like it. Let's pray. Holy God, our words and our actions show people how much you love them. Help us to remember that when we aren't feeling very kind and give us your spirit so that we can share what matters. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>